headed to Amicalola. It's a beautiful blue sky day here in Georgia. Look at those mountains. I didn't think I'd make a friend on trail so quickly, but before I knew it, Ryan and I were headed down the approach trail together on our way to Springer. We met at orientation down at Amicalola and decided that we might as well start hiking together, at least for a little while. And although I had accepted starting the trail alone, it was nice to have a friend to walk with. I thought we'd be able to make it to Springer that first day, but with a late start and my pack feeling very heavy, <laughs> uh, we did not make it to Springer. But we stopped at a shelter and made new friends. It was so cold that night. I remember getting up to pee in the middle of the night and my knees knocking. But I was overjoyed to be on the trail and reach Springer this next morning. About to go climb Springer. And officially start the AT. It is cold as shit this morning, but the sun is out. Whoop, whoop. The temperature was low, but our spirits were high to finally touch the iconic monument on Springer Mountain and officially start this epic journey down the Appalachian Trail. Uh, made it to Springer! Yeah. Look at this view! Tapping this monument that I've been waiting to see for six years, I still can't describe it. It was so cold, but my joy was overflowing. Eating a little treat. We're making it to Springer. It's a beautiful day to be on the trail. Look at this. I couldn't help but go down every blue blaze and stop and take in every single view. Don't know why these are here, but uh, you can take a shed or a cemetery. Our first official day on trail, we managed to make it to the Hawk Mountain Shelter along with I think everybody else. Um, so it was really fun and also slightly overwhelming for an introvert and I actually had to go take some time by myself. But it was so great to meet all my fellow hikers. Day three on the trail! Day two on the AT! Enjoying these climbs this morning. My calves are not. How are we feeling? Ryan's got a new trail name. Schmitty! Woo! <laughs> not enjoying the calves right now. <laughs> My calves are hurting. Schmitty and I got our first trail magic from Ron! Let's Thank go! You. We got rice pasta i was running low on food we got a dum dum for this insane walk that we're about to do we got gatorade hand warmers yes. coffee what <laughs> let's go on day two of the at is when schmitty and i picked up saray cold rain was coming our way and we were not ready to be frozen popsicles so while everyone else was headed to above the clouds in the next few days we were headed to a new hostel called hidden pond which I had some personal connections to, so I wanted to stop by. It is day four, day three on the AT, and it is another beautiful day. Headed to Lance Creek today. And tomorrow, we're taking a Nero to avoid the freezing cold and the freezing rain. But today it's supposed to be 61. Can't wait. Day three and spirits were still high. I was feeling good, my pack was feeling heavy, but legs were feeling good. We were doing lower mileage, so seven to eight miles a day. We did not want to get off trail for an injury, so we were enjoying the moments. All right, that's Blood Mountain. Gonna be hiking it in a few days. Hopefully, there will be no bloodshed. Look at this view. We made it to Woody Gap today. We've got a little bit more to go, but it's a beautiful day, so excited to be outside. Blood Mountain Wilderness. 
Yeah, the one that looks like tinfoil, right? Yeah. Look at yeah, this yeah, it's like orange on the outside. The day was beautiful, and we were so excited to go to Hidden Pond tomorrow. Hidden Pond got named the dentist hostel by my fellow hikers because the reason I was staying there is because it's a small world, and my dentist niece owns that hostel. It is day five, day four on the AT, and it is pouring down rain. <laughs> We are up early so that we can go get picked up, but we're not getting picked up till 10. So we're just hanging out for a minute before we start walking. And it's good we're getting picked up because I need to do some better seam sealing on this part of my tent. But that's good to know now, I guess. But yeah, I'm ready to start day five. It is a tad rainy today, but luckily we are only got a few miles and then we're getting pucked, bleh, we're getting picked up to go to Hidden Pond Hostel. So hopefully we'll be able to fix all of our wet stuff and then we'll be ready for the next time it rains. So here we go. I had done some shakedown hikes in the rain, but I had not dealt with the freezing rain and backpacking. So I definitely learned a few things about my gear today and what worked and what didn't. So I was very grateful to be going into a hostel today. <laughs> these sweatshirts gave us, yes, gave us life when we found these loaner clothes. <laughs> and Brecky, a hidden pond hostel. A friend had given me the Appalachian Trail passport book before I left, and I was absolutely thrilled to use it to start getting stamps. Almost a carbon copy of this. Hi, Sam. Are you the cutest little hostile dog? Yes. You were the cutest hostile dog. The cutest. So yesterday, after a few miles in the rain, we got picked up at Gerard's Gap, and we headed to a little haven called Hidden Pond Hostel. And we got to get warm and shower and eat good food. And here, let me show you. This is Hidden Pond. Look how cute. They have a dog named Sam and Rainbow and Lost Johnny are the best. We had a great time and it's a little hard to leave this morning because it's so cold, but we're about to go get ready and head out on trail. First climb of the morning out of Gerard's Gap and the trees are frozen. Glad we're not frozen, but the frozen trees look really pretty. why I started in May because I wanted to see a little beautiful hints of winter on the trail. It's a little cold this morning but it is beautiful out here. See the snow-capped mountain through there? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how beautiful this view is. Love it. Okay, Blood Mountain was not that bad, and this view, so worth it. Look at that. I was absolutely blown away by the views we were getting on Blood Mountain. It made me so excited to have started in March, just so I could see this frozen wonderland. Oh my God, look at this view. Blood Mountain, you're beautiful. The entire time hiking up Blood Mountain, I could hear Schmitty talking to someone. I honestly thought he was talking to himself. But at the top, I saw somebody hiking up Blood in this weather in their Crocs. And I asked Schmitty, I was like, Schmitty, were you talking to yourself? And he said, no. I was talking to my new friend, John. This will be important later on. We're at Neil's Gap! Oh, Woo! We're here. Look how cute this we're is! Here. We're so excited! Great way to start Saturday. So, like three hours later, we finally left Mountain Crossings. We got some trail magic there uh, from Mercer University College of Health Professionals. I've been having some calf issues all day, and they helped me out with that. They helped Schmitty out with his foot.
beautiful and good day out here on the trail. So. Water filtration at its finest. I hold it between my legs because it's too cold to hold. <laughs> There's 35 mile an hour wind gusts, and it's just really cold. I can't really feel my toes or my fingers, so I'm slowly moving, trying to warm up, and hoping to get a little bit lower and out of the wind to eat some breakfast. So, the sun is out, so that's nice, but I think the high today is only like 35, so yeah, it's gonna be a cold one, but. Supposedly after tonight, it's supposed to warm up. So, I'm gonna try and make the best of it. Happy Sunday. Wow. Oh. See, I knew you would catch me. Today ended up being a really tough day. At one point I even started crying, but I texted my mom and sister and pushed onwards. <laughs> 